Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a Bible study. Um, I'm actually going to be using my Bible study that I created. Um, I haven't finished it yet so it hasn't been, I, I mean it has been released but it was never finished. So I won't re-release it until it's completely finished. I have like two or three more chapters I have to go over. So we're going to go over chapter one today. Going again to Esther. So flip in your Bibles to Esther. So I'm going to read Esther one and then I'm going to just go over my summary notes that I have. And um, if you guys end up having any questions, always comment down below and I'll help answer those. Um, so first, I always like to start off with a prayer. Um, so we'll just go into prayer. Dear Lord, I just pray that you give me the knowledge to be able to teach your word to anyone that is watching this video. I just pray that you would allow both me and them to learn something from your word today. I just pray that we can apply it to our lives. And thank you for everything that you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. And you can say whatever you want in the prayer. That was just a simple one to sum up things. Uh, before I begin reading, just know that I will pronounce some of these words incorrectly. So, don't mind that. Um, but I am using the King James Version. That's the only version that I've used. Um, I have done the NKJV when I was younger, but this is the one that I mainly use now. All right, now it came to pass in the days of Ahasuerus, this is Ahasuerus, which reigned from India, even unto Ethiopia, over 107 and 20 provinces, that in those days when the king Ahasuerus sat on the throne of his kingdom, which was in Shushan, the palace, in the third year of his reign, he made a feast unto all his princes and his servants, the power of Persia and Media, the nobles and princes of the provinces being before him, when he showed the riches of his glorious kingdom and the honor of his excellent majesty many days, even a hundred and fourscore days. And when these days were expired, the king made a feast unto all the people that were present in Shushan the palace, both unto great and small, seven days in the court of the garden of the king's palace, where were white green and blue hangings fastened with cords of fine linen and purple to silver rings and pillars of marble. The beds were of gold and silver upon a pavement of red and blue and white and black marble. And they gave him drink and they gave them drink and vessels of gold, the vessels being diverse one from another and royal wine in abundance according to the state of the king. And the drinking was according to the law None did compel, for the king had appointed to all the officers of his house that they should do according to every man's pleasure. So, every man's pleasure, we know where this is probably going to end up going. So, we'll continue. Also, Vashti the queen made a feast for the women in the royal house which belonged to King Ahasuerus. On the seventh day, when the heart of the king was merry with wine, he commanded Mahuma, Mahuma, Bista, Harbona, Bixa, and Ab Abagatha, Zethar, and Carcass, the seven chamberlains that served in the presence of Ahasuerus, the king, to bring Vashti the queen before the king with the crown royal to show the people and the princes her beauty, for she was fair to look on. But the queen Vashti refused to come at the king's commandment by his chamberlains. Therefore was the king very wroth and his anger burned in him. See, what did I tell you? It's always about something, something. Women are always sexualized. I mean, not always now, but back then I feel like they were. And they were kind of servants to the men. And we're on verse 10, or sorry, verse 13. Then the king said to the wise men, which knew the times, for so was the king's manner toward all that new law and judgment. And the next unto him was Arshina, Sethar, Admatha, Tarshish, Meris, 
Marcina, and Mamoka, the seven princes of Persia and Media, which saw the king's face and which sat the first in the kingdom. What shall we do unto the queen Vashti according to the law, because she hath not performed the commandment of the king Ahasuerus by the chamberlains? And the Mamuk and Mumunkin answered before the king and the princes, Vashti the queen hath not done wrong to the king only, but also to all the princes and to all the people that are in all the provinces of the king Ahasuerus. For this, deed of the, for this deed of the queen shall come abroad unto all women, so that they shall despise their husbands in their eyes. When it shall be re reported, the king Ahasuerus commanded Vashti the queen to be brought in before him, but she came not. So basically, in like verse 16, 17, they're saying that they're scared that their wives and their women are going to go against them and not listen to them because of they're going to follow the queen and what she did. In verse 18, likewise shall the ladies of Persia and Media say this day unto all the king's princes which have heard of the deed of the queen, thus shall there, there arise to contempt and wrath. If it please the king, let there go a royal commandment from him, and let it be written among the laws of the Persians and the Medes that it be not altered, that Vashti come no more before King Ahasuerus, and let the king give her royal estate unto another, that it is better than she. Now, they're saying that she should give up her throne as queen, and should be it should be given to someone else that deserves it. And when the king's decree, which he shall make, shall be published throughout all his empire, for it is great, all the wives shall give to their husbands honor, both to great and small. So that's um, the decree that they put out that everyone, no matter how old you are, should basically honor their husbands, not go against them. And the saying, I'm in verse 21. And the saying pleased the king and the princes, and the king did according to the word of the Mamukin. That's a hard name. For he sent letters into all the king's provinces, into every province according to the writing thereof, and to every people after their language, that every man should bear rule in his own house, and that it should be published according to the language of every people. So basically, because Queen Vashti didn't listen to her king and went against him, they thought that all the women were going to go against their husbands, and now they have to make a law or a decree saying basically to honor your husband. So now I'm just going to go over the notes I had in my little Bible study. Um, it's kind of like a summary. Um, so it's actually it is a summary of the first chapter. So there was a feast for all who were in Shushan the palace for the king to show off his riches. So that's why they were all there. He wanted to show off all that he had, all that he has rule over. Um, and then we go into Vashti refused to listen to the king, and he told her to show off her beauty in front of everyone. Now, I mean, I mean, it's a compliment to be like, oh, she's so pretty, like, let's show everyone her beauty. But also, again, it just seems like he's, ruling over her, which he is the king, but also if she doesn't want to show off her beauty, if she doesn't want to be in front of people, I feel like she shouldn't have to, you know? Um, if word got out about what Vashti had done, they would likewise follow. So that's again saying because she did that, all the other women were probably going to follow if they found out what she done. And that's what all the men were scared of because they like to have control. <laughs> um, and then, let's see, the king wanted to prevent this from happening, so he requested Vashti's presence. She did not show. Queen Vashti was made no longer queen because of her actions. There was no, there was a new order made by the king that all wives should honor their husbands and submit to them. And then, again, there were those 
letter sent to everyone saying that the men should rule over their wives and pretty much any women of any age. So yeah, that is the first chapter. That's kind of a summary. Um, it is my first like, not in-depth Bible study, but it is, I feel like it's my first Bible study. Like my other ones, I've had lessons and this one is just kind of like talking about what's going on in the chapter. And um, I hope you guys could understand what I was saying. I try to explain it as best as possible. But again, if you guys have any questions, you can always comment down below. But that is the end of the first chapter. If you guys wanna see the second chapter or listen to the second chapter, go ahead and comment that down below. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe and I, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.